In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set targets in Google Data Studio. I will show you a couple ways how to do it. Um, and uh, we start with uh, uh, the simplest one. Uh, so here I have a just a standard scorecard chart that's showing the number of users. What I want to do is to set target for this KPI. So I make a copy of uh, uh, this scorecard and then I want to click on it, uh, press create field and then um, here I mm, choose users divided by my target number. Uh, my goal so it will be for instance uh, 60k and uh, the type will be percent and uh, field name I also at percent and um, click apply and we'll see what we will got we achieved almost 90 percent of uh, our goal uh, so, but um, this number is static. Uh, if um, we want to create the dynamic uh, field, I need to use parameter. Here I choose set a parameter, and um, in my case, it be a user param. The number will be whole in my case, um, it will be range, and I want um, the minimum value 2k, and the maximum one will be. 80k and the default will be 2k value and here I need to click uh, save now I click on this uh, scorecard uh, click on the formula delete the uh, static value and uh, add here uh, users parameter and uh, click apply uh, then when I, what I do is uh, click at the control and here I choose slider and uh, changing the control fuel to my parameter. If I adjust the slider, you can see uh, that the um, completion uh, changes as well. Uh, the next way to create target with help of um, tables. If I click uh, on style, I can uh, choose show numbers uh, for a number of new users. And uh, also here you can see I can press show target and here I can input uh, the target and uh, for instance it will be 5k. Uh, unfortunately this um, kind of target is not dynamic and uh, you should manually set. So another way to create target is with the help of uh, the bullet chart it's uh, located here bullet chart called and uh, what I can do the first I need to set our uh, range limits uh, for instance it will be range 1 uh, 1k range 2 will be 10k uh, and uh, range 2, 3 will be um, 100k and here uh, you could uh, see I also can set target for instance 75k Another chart that also helps to display uh, the target is called gauge chart and here I can uh, uh, also provide range uh, limits and if I click show target here I can also enable um, the target it will be for instance uh, 69k yeah, but uh, it's also not uh, dynamic, unfortunately. If you want to add a, t a target for line charts, it is possible to do this uh, the help of a reference line. And uh, so if you click style and then click add a reference line, you can set a static target. For instance, uh, uh, it will be a constant value and value will be 3k and I can rename it and for instance it will be goal but if you want to create uh, the dynamic uh, target it's also possible because uh, if I change it to a specific metric or to parameter and I have parameter users parameter and um, it is shown uh, the goal for 2k and uh, also if 
I add slider right now to change to user parameter. Uh, here I can uh, change the value and it will be adjusted uh, for the chart as you can see here. The last way is to use a community visualization uh, chart and if I click here community visualizations and component and choose it's a data target card. I'm able to choose uh, what uh, target and what actual value to display. Uh, for instance, actual value will be new users. And uh, for target, unfortunately, it's not possible to use parameters. That's why I need to uh, choose some kind of value. Uh, for instance, I can uh, calculate some value and uh, add it here. For instance, I want to add 70k will be my target. I can switch to style and uh, choose a chart type uh, fraction and it will show the number of users, uh, the real number of users versus my target. It is quite simple formula, um, but I also can um, create something more advanced. You can use uh, the case formula here as well and for instance calculate particular uh, target uh, uh, for each month. The first um, way is show fraction and the another way is to show um, the percent. If I change to percent, it will be showing number of percent below target or above target. I hope that this video was useful. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel not to miss new videos about Google Data Studio. And if you need help with Data Studio, check the links in the description below.